Hello everyone. As promised, I am going to start YouTubing. So I was trying to wait until I found the perfect setup, the perfect light, the perfect, 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 perfect everything. But we all know that in this day, um, things change at the blink of an eye. So there is no need for me to um, like, oh, let's wait until everything is perfect. No, let's do it now. So in my messy um, home studio, we are going to start now. And this is our very first video. So let's jump right on in. I am going to um, give you all that I have, okay? I am going to just go for it. All right, so let's paint a cute little cat in a shark costume. Let's do it. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Tashima Davis, and today we are going to paint a cat in a shark costume. Because, why not? So the colors we're going to use today are cobalt blue, flesh yellow, pink, warm gray, black, and titanium white. But any white would do, of course. I buy my paints from Hobby Lobby. My um, preferred paint for acrylic is Master's Touch. Um, but you can use whatever you have at home. Um, so let's get right to it. I have my palette, so you need something to put your paint on because we will do some mixing and blending of colors. I have my paper towel. I have my water cup. And I also have my regular water so that I don't drink my paint water. I have my brushes and we are ready to go. I also have a Prismacolor pencil with me and this just helps me with um, tracing it doesn't matter what color you use you don't even have to use one if you don't want not with tracing with sketching um, I don't like to when I say that I don't sketch I don't like plan out the whole thing but I do sketch the object so that I have my proportions right um, so I'm going to sit down and sketch and I'll talk to you while I do that So the first thing I'm going to sketch is the shark body and it's the little kitty is sitting upright so kind of like on his bottom so I'm going to sketch hopefully that sound doesn't bother you too much I'm going to sketch this part and little shark fin and over here is going to be the other part of the shark fin so I made like a um, a bean shape and then a fin I'm going to erase some of this so I love sketching with the Prismacolor pencil because it is super soft it erases easy and it the paint covers very well so back here is going to be my shark tail. And then the bottom. And then the shark's, um, probably getting too high, shark's fan. And then the shark's eye. Okay, so that's the shark. And then we're gonna put a cute little cat in its mouth, which is kind of creepy to think about it or to say it out loud. So this is going to be the shark's mouth. And then inside of that, I'm gonna have a cute little kitty face. So I'm gonna draw a circle for the face. And then it's gonna have some teeth from the costume on top of the face, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. And then the little kitty paws. And most of the ideas that I paint on here, guys, are Pinterest inspired. So if you see it um, on Pinterest while you are perusing the site, then yes, that's where I got it from. Pinterest inspired. And then a 
over here. We're going to do the other little arm. I go to Pinterest a lot when I'm like, oh, I don't feel like painting anything um, for my own personal work, anything really serious. So I go there and just find some cute little things to paint um, because I got to paint. <laughs> um, so that's a foot. And then over here, it's going to be another foot. And then a leg. Okay, so that's the sketch. And um, I'm not going to really worry about sketching the face on the cat or anything right now because uh, I'm going to do that with paint. So those of you who are new here, um, I am Tashima Davis full-time art teacher, part-time gallery owner, um, part, part-time, <laughs> if that's even a thing, author and illustrator of now seven children picture books, mom to two beautiful little girls, wife to one handsome husband. I am a believer, I'm an artist, and I love painting. So, it is now time because, you know, it's 2021 and it's just time to be part of the digital or the virtual, virtual, virtual age and technology of things. So, <clears throat> that leads me to YouTube. I've been painting live on Facebook and now it's time to do, to up it a little bit. So here I am upping it. All right, so let's paint. With our shark, it is going to be um, a gray and the belly of the shark is gonna be uh, like kind of white. But I want the shark itself to be like a, a blue gray. So I am going to if you hear kids in the background, it's because, like I said, I'm a mom. So my kids are here and they are in the background. So I'm going to mix my cobalt blue, some of my white, and then just a tinge of black because the black goes far. So that I get a bluish gray. Okay. With that bluish gray, I am going to paint my shark costume um, I have a canvas so this is a canvas panel and it was already painted blue um, so some of my colors might change because this was not planned out okay I don't like to waste paint so sometimes I just um, paint over a canvas that I have laying around and then when it's time for me to paint something or when I feel inspired to paint something I just pick up that canvas and paint on that so that's what this is so I'm gonna go around this sketch and everything that I sketched out I'm going to paint with this bluish grayish ish color Oh no, that's supposed to be white. Okay. And it doesn't really matter to me if I cover my sketch lines or not because I can always erase them at the end. Then under here is supposed to be that same bluish gray. Um, I don't know if I gotta say I do not own the rights to any music like you have to on Facebook but I do like to paint while listening to music so I have just Pandora in the background and the station that I'm listening to is um, what is it Instrumental Brothers 
when I'm in the gallery doing these painting classes. I like to listen to instrumental jazz. I just like the noise in the background. I know on here that you can like pre-record and you can do voiceover, you can do music over, you can do all those things, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm just giving it to you raw. Okay, and now for the belly. The belly is going to be kind of like just a gray. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of that white. I did not clean my brush because I like a dirty brush. Um, I'm going to mix some of that white and that gray together. And then the belly of the shark is going to be that color. I am in Indiana where we just experienced the blizzard. So I've been in the house for a few days now and I am going to go out today because I have a class scheduled to paint Baby Yoda at six tonight. So I'm gonna go out and get the studio ready and then I'll be painting again tonight. Okay, so once I have that all painted in, it's okay if you go over your sketch lines a little. Because again, this is a painting, not a drawing. And you can always paint over something once it dries. The head of this thing um, is also this white color. Well, it's not the head, it's like the mouth part. You was, you understand once I paint in the details. I just wanted to get this under layer painted in so you can kind of see it. I'm going back over the belly because I just I didn't like it. So I'm gonna go back over it. I'm probably gonna have to push stop to tell my kids to please be quiet. Which is another reason I don't do too many of these because it's hard to do it at home. But I'm committed, so here we go. Okay, so that's the costume. You can kind of see like the shark, right? Um, and then I'm gonna put little uh, teeth around the cat's face, but I need to get this part painted in first. So after I paint this part, then I will paint the cat. I'm just adding a little highlights. I will go over, over that part again, over the bluish gray. So I'll put that brush in the water cup and then I am going to do the cat. So I'm going to use this, um, I'm going to use the flesh yellow, I'm going to use the warm gray, and I'm going to use some of my white. And 
this will be done in several several layers. For now, I'm gonna paint in a little cat's face. So that hole that we left, we're gonna paint that in. And I like to mix my um, paint on the canvas so I don't really pre-mix very much. Um, I do it just a little bit to make sure that's the color that I want. And then I just use whatever colors I'm gonna use. I just put it in my brush and then put it on a canvas. So it's gonna be a little paw right here. And then another little paw right here. So we're going to continue with the cat. And again, that's just an underlayer, meaning I'm going to paint over it. So that's the base of this little creation. Um, and then I'll just keep layering over what I already have and bringing the colors that I know I want to the forefront of this whole layering process. And the beautiful thing about painting is everyone does it different. Like there's no, in my opinion, right or wrong way to do it. You just do what you love, what you feel. That's the beauty of art, especially if you're just doing it for fun. Don't get all uptight and in the way of the creative process. Just create. If it makes you happy to paint little silly things, then paint it. Like when I saw this little cat in this um, shark, costume I knew I had to paint it because it was cute and it made me happy so here I am painting it for you to watch I have to really let this dry because it keeps picking up Keep going. All right, and then I'll come back to that part. So now I'm gonna go back to my shark and I am going to do another blue layer.
I like to really layer my paints, so that's why I'm going over it. And when I go over it, it is time for me to like add any highlights or any like kind of shadow lines that I want to add. And I just keep doing that over and over again. Especially if I make a mistake. Again, this um, this channel is all about creating to create. I have a small following, you know, I'm not like a YouTube star or anything like that, or I don't profess to be this great artist who has it all together. I just like to paint y'all and um the more i paint the more i share the more i keep getting people saying hey you know you should have a youtube or you should have these stored somewhere we can access them so that's what i'm doing and i will be honest with you because i believe honesty is is good this frightens me because of you know their there are a lot of nice people and then there's some not so nice people in the world <laughs> but i cannot i cannot let the fear of not so nice people finding in my page and harassing me to keep me from spreading the beauty the love and the joy that i have um, for creating so i'm doing it and as i grow then i'll you know i'll do better I'm, I'm here to learn just like you're here to learn and have fun. In my own personal work, I do oil portraits. My website is tinaco.com. Um, but this is what I like to do for fun and for other people are these kind of paintings. Okay. So again, I'm using acrylic and painting a cat in a shark costume. So I'm going to go back to my little kitty's face with my white I'm going to this white just doesn't want to stick in that spot I'm gonna add this little fur detail and you make your kitty whatever color you want them to be if you want them to be gray or black or whatever You do what you love. Okay, I'm gonna add some more white on this little paw area. And this is not a, a serious painting. I mean, come on, it's a, a cat in a shark suit. Um, you see that? It's not, it's not drying in that area, right? And I need it to, so that's where my little nose goes. It's gonna go. But I said it's not serious because um, I'm not really concerned with being precise or perfect proportions or anything like that. We're just painting. Let me stop trying to save myself for any ridicule. Ridicule. All right. 
Um, I am going to use a very small brush. I'm still waiting on that part to dry. I believe the original or the, the work that I'm inspired by was done with a marker. And everything is outlined in black. So I am going to outline everything in black. But of course I'm using acrylic paint. If you do not have painting supplies, all you need is just a few brushes to start out with. A round brush and a flat brush will get you very far. So the one I'm using now is a round brush. My favorite brush are, brushes are the flat brushes, but you can use whatever you have. I think I need to make the, the white part of the, the shark a little whiter. I made it so gray the first time. Now it needs to be pushed back a little bit and add some white. All of the little cute paintings that I do um, can be found in locally in my gallery or at my gallery in Marion. So you're going to um, get it as white or as gray as you want it. And the reason I stopped to redo this part is because I was getting ready to add my uh, my line work, but I didn't like the way it looked. I really don't like the way this brush is looking either. I want this middle part to be really smooth. It's all about the brushes. If you have, if you got a brush and it's not blending the colors the way you want them to blend, use a different brush. Different brushes and different bristles will give you a different look. Depending on what you use. And on the bottom of the belly you can stay the kind of like that grayish color. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my small round brush and then I'm going to make a like a dark gray and with that gray I'm going to outline to make this kind of look more like a mouth Then eventually I will have, I'm going to do teeth, but I got to do the cat first. Okay. And I don't like that part. Either. Okay, and then we're gonna paint the cute cat. Okay, I'm just trying to give it some more time for the face to dry. And then we'll get to the cat.
really like layers of paint. Okay, so over here, I still want that to be a little more, a few more layers. And then I'm gonna paint his little toads. I think that one's pretty good. His little paw prints. And I'm going to use the pink. I don't think we need to mix it or anything. So I'm gonna take that pink and I am going to start on this foot. So we're gonna start with that middle section, make like a little hump. And then I'm going to make a side hump. And then another one on this side. And then I'm gonna give him four little toes. One, two, three, four. That still has to dry. Well, let me see if I can do it. Yeah, so a little hump. Give him a side hump. Another one on the side. And then four little toes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's my little foot. And then I am going to start with the cat's face. So we're gonna start with a little nose and we're gonna just make um, a tiny triangle. Like that. Wipe my brush off again and I'm going to use some black. And with the black, I am going to, let me bring you a little closer so you can see. The black I'm going to outline the bottom part of the nose and I'm just barely touching it to do just a little section so that it kind of looks like a Y and then I'm going to do an upside down V and that's his little nose and mouth <laughs> how cute and now the eyes so you to make like little cute illustrations you want kind of like a tiny nose and mouth and then you want like these ginormous eyes so I'm gonna do a large like heel and then we're going to close it off at the bottom and then do the other side which can be tricky trying to get them to be the same Like that. They're a little uneven, but it's okay. He's still cute. And I'm going to just use the colors on my palette. I'm going to make kind of a darkish blue by adding black and white. I mean, black and blue. And I'm going to fill those in. go back to my small brush and I'm gonna give this eye some life so I'm gonna add 
little white highlight. Another white highlight. Outline it a little bit. Without making him look like he's crying. Maybe he just looks sad because she's in his little costume. It doesn't want to be. And I like being extra with the highlights. then I'm going to give him some stripes so I'm going to use some of that yellow flesh yellow and black and mix it and create this dirty looking color just give him some little stripes I don't know what kind of cat it is One that has stripes. And then in between those, I can take, let me see how dark this is going to be. Yeah, that's going to be too dark. So I'm going to take some white. And then I'm going to add the shark teeth from the costume over the face. And that's what really sells it, in my opinion. So I'm going to add these little white triangles. You can do it to your liking. They don't have to be perfect. They don't all have to be the same. It's just a cute little, cute little sketch. And I am going to then outline everything in black. Make this eye a little bigger.
The black outline is my favorite. It's always been my favorite. Probably because I learned how to draw by drawing cartoons. And the cartoon always had that nice black clean line. Which is kind of hard to do sometimes with the paintbrush. But So I'm going to rotate my canvas to help me get, get where I need to get. And the line thickness is completely up to you. If you like a bolder, thicker line, thin, fine line, then do whatever kind of line you like. My paint is um, clumpy because it was drying. So I should have waited to put that much black on my palette. But I did not wait, so it's not um, flowing as nicely as it could, but that's okay. I'll just keep going over it. So when I do this little feet, I'm going to um, like round it to make they look like their toes. Same thing with um, his little paws. To get a nice line, I like to steady my hand with my pinky. bottom part of this and same thing with this foot I'm going to make those little toe impressions to give you the illusion that that's a toe going around adding that nice black cartoon line paint is getting too clumpy so like that right there it's too clumpy
big fingers, so we got big. part but first I'm going to do uh, the teeth on the inside of the mouth let me do all the teeth first so I don't miss them there are acrylic um markers that you can use fine point really help with stuff like this but i learned about those markers late so i'm used to doing it with a paintbrush so i'm gonna keep going outline this little face Connect all the teeth. And then connect this part. There you go. I feel like I want to put something in the background, but I'm not. So I'm just going to leave it like this for this video and put a little highlight on his nose. And then this little ball. Okay. All finished.